Welcome back to our talk show. Today um, we have Jonas Mikas. And M.M. Sarah. So, M.M., I've known you for, what, maybe two years now? Three years? Oh, I don't know. When, to, when was, uh, is that, what year was that? 2009? I think so. And you took me to the film co-op. Or no, my class went to the film co-op. Chris Strayer took him. Yeah, I had a class on, on the uh, body. On the body. And uh, we watched uh, Kurt Krenn's film, September 30th. That's Eating, Shitting, Pissing film, Jane. Yeah, well, I like that. It has two titles. Yeah. What's the, uh, what's the alternative title? Eating, Shitting, Pissing film. Right. So you showed us that, and it had a big influence on me, and I... Oh, good. I hope you were well, I made a, to... I made a film. I made a film about um, two guys that work in Brooks Brothers, but after seeing that film, it's just about like a day in the life. But after man. seeing that film, which is just you know close-up shots of exactly that, people eating, drinking, and then pissing and shitting, but like at a very odd angle. Not like just underneath. anybody. It's a man, Jane. It's okay, a man. man shitting. <laughs> <laughs> and Women do it. Yeah. And then you had the book. I didn't know how they did it because I. Well, anyway, I had my film I about the Brooks the Brothers book. guys, and I was like, oh my god, I have to have them pissing and shitting in, in the film. But I didn't want, I had these, I had um, this actor, this British stage actor named Charles Dance, and I didn't want to ask him if I could film him shitting, so I got a shit double. And, or no, he, his character pissed. So I got a, a ex, uh, a former art teacher to come and be the piss double. And then I had. Did you get an A from that art teacher for? And putting them in well, that later world. I showed uh, Jonas. Maybe, maybe you, maybe you can relate. I later I showed um, part of that footage at um, NYU, and um, and they got really upset. The, the faculty got really upset, and one of the teachers called me an asshole. Oh, that's one a compliment. Though. Called me an that's asshole. A, that's yeah. a compliment. Yeah. You should have said thank you, <laughs> yeah, James. Exactly. Did you say thank you? <laughs> I uh, no, I talked about it He's on Letterman. Then, Isn't uh, that interesting? Yeah. Um, um, but Jonas, you so so. That was uh, what did you name that film? Before we go off, you what did you name that film? Well, I it didn't fit in the um, the Brooks Brothers film, which is called The Clerk's Tale. Um, but I had this footage that I wanted to use, and so I I put it into this other film called um, Masculinity and Me that I made that uh, was sort of autobiographical, and uh, but I used weird masks and. And shitting and pissing. Chris Paul, yeah. Yeah, and I showed it in Chris's class, yeah. Yeah, she liked it. Yeah, yeah. She said it was good. Yeah. Mask, that's from mass. Masculine, yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Masculinity, the root is mask, like. Uh, no, it's a joke. Oh. <laughs> He's getting, it's teasing you. <laughs> so, MM and Jonas, how did you two start working together? How did that what? How did you start working with Jonas? I, I am not really working with him. Mm -hmm. no. no. She's working for the filmmakers. She's, uh, but you started that, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, but, He's uh, the but founding. I did not, uh, when were you, uh, you were born, uh, okay, let's not go into age. Uh, filmmakers Cooperative was created in January 62. 61. I got the Silve Incorporation money. <laughs> January 14th, 1961. Oh, that's the new American cinema. You see, I'm talking okay. uh, there at, at the beginning in uh, 50, late 58, 59, there it was an, only the new American, new American cinema group. Uh -huh. Filmmakers got together. Uh, there was, there were a whole bunch already, in, you know, filming, interested, uh, me, uh, new, uh, meeting, discussing, arguing, but uh, we thought it would be good if we Here, create... Uh, What's this doing? Um, show that to James. Uh, <laughs> okay, just like jumping forward. After, this was well, a we press, only have an hour. press conference at the overseas uh, uh, press club. They had an office at, at uh, Waldorf, Waldorf Astoria. And uh, uh, this was, the, uh, we were sending to Europe our first uh, new American cinema exhibition. So this and is you? this was, 
Oh, that's me. That, that's me. Uh, that's uh, Gregory Markopoulos. That's uh, Adam Sidney, Andy Warhol, Ron Rice, and. Uh, and so you went there for a conference to do... To do no, no, no. We, we organized Filmmakers Cooperative, that means me. Uh, we organized a press conference. We wanted, you know, some... I, I, I happened to... Uh, uh, the, the, the secretary of the uh, foreign press club mm. was actually one of the editors of Film Culture. So, you know, a friend, my, my co-worker. So Warhol was in the, in the car. Uh, he, he, he was part of the conference. There were uh, like 15 or, or so of us, including Barbara Rubin. Barbara uh, Rubin, yes. yes. We are jumping here. Uh, well, uh, let's not let's go be, linear. Uh, a little bit methodical yeah, so please, that we please. get some information. Please, MM for you. Because right. I'm a co computer. <laughs> you have here a computer. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Okay. So the new American cinema group, and we, 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 uh, the group decided that uh, uh, we should have a little committee to explore the funding, uh, distribution, and also another the three or four filmmakers ex uh, 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 exploring the legalities, censorship, how to get rid of censorship. Uh, censorship was very strong at that time. And uh, uh, I was on the, the committee to explore the distribution, dissemination. So uh, 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 myself and my brother, we decided that f uh, we should create our own distribution center, cooperative, where we have complete control, because nobody at that time wanted our films to distribute our films. So they thought that these are what we are doing is silly, amateurish, and stupid. So, uh, 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 what about I mean, I want, uh, So, when you moved here from Europe, and um, you had gone to school as a philosopher, I guess, and then at some point you picked up a camera. Yeah, yeah. And I wonder why um, avant-garde film was what inspired you, rather than you know mainstream film. Why you went in that direction, and, and which you know, I was inspired by cinema. Not by, I, I, until I landed in New York, uh, 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 I had not seen, a, and you could not see in, in the post for Europe or even wartime Europe uh, <laughs> any uh, uh, avant garde uh, or any classics. Or, uh, you know, I, I came from wartime and five years of displaced person camps. Here I land in New York, but everything is available. Uh, 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 so my life in cinema began here. And of course, 42nd Street, which was Cinematheque of New York, between 42nd Street with the, like 15 movie theaters and, uh, and MoMA, uh, and then Cinema 16 with the avant uh, yeah. And Hans Richter, Jonas. Uh, Hans Richter. Yes. He taught. Film. In any case, my interest was First in film. cinema, not the one branch, uh, one form, one uh, category called avant-garde, or it was known as experimental. Uh, uh, I was interested. To me, cinema was always one big tree with many branches. So we got together, and we created our own distribution center, and we called it Filmmakers Cooperative. No film rejected, no contract signed, all income goes to the filmmaker, instead, it, it, with the exception that what's needed to run the co-op. And uh, they are all equal, listed alphabetically in the catalog. Uh, nobody is uh, about But now we have else. 952 members, and Jane's a member. Yeah. Mm. Th that's he doesn't beginning. know it. And now no, I, are, I know I'm a member. And now no, what? <laughs> But what, so what do you do now um, in this age, um, electronic age? I mean, how, do, how does the filmmakers co-op function? Has it had to adjust or, or I mean, because you, I mean, you one, one what? of the great things about the filmmakers co-op is you have prints of these, you know, amazing films that I, I don't, I don't know where I would find, you know, some of them otherwise. Um, For, but, yeah. but now, you know, 
a lot of that stuff is going to YouTube and that kind of thing. So how does the film make YouTube censors things. Okay. First of all, what we have is, like Jonas Mikas was saying, we don't censor anything. Remember the No motion. film is rejected. Uh, but YouTube, let, your let, film. Uh, YouTube cuts films. For instance, Blowjob, Andy Warhol's Blowjob on, on YouTube. It's a 35-minute film. It's a, it's a Royal Shakespearean actor. And you need the time element. On YouTube, they speed it up. It's like five minutes, and it's cut. Mm -hmm for the gratification. So what we have is uncensored, uncut, and original. And we also have, we have a lot of new members. We just got five new members. They, whatever form, Ken Jacobs does Blu-ray. You saw Ken Jacobs, another occupation. Mm -hmm. He does 3D Blu-ray. He gave it to us. We put it on Facebook. Within 24 hours, we sold both discs that we had mm -hmm. at the University of Colorado. It's tools. Like this is a tool, you can make films using whatever tool come, is available, what you can afford. Like I borrow cameras. Same you, as you can paint or draw or make drawings, it's anything. You pick up a little colored stone from, from the road, from the sand, from the beach, and you can make a drawing with that. 